Jitex Media live from Jitex Global 2025. I have with me right now Mr. Mayuresh Kotari. He is Advisory Solution Principal at Sophos. Let's welcome Mr. Mayuresh. Hi, how are you? You, I'm great. Great to be here. It's great to have you here. So, Mr. Mayuresh, tell us what is the uh, focus of Sophos this year at Jitex Global 2025. So first of all, uh, Sophos is going through uh, integration with the latest acquisition of SecureWorks. Uh, but over and above, we are here to talk about the ability to deliver end-to-end -end security across different tech stacks, uh, to do it in a secure by design manner, and also to be able to support the region in the best possible way with the emerging trends of AI, threat activity across the critical national infrastructure, that's the focus uh, and that's where, where we want everyone to know about Sophos. Interesting. So after Sophos acquired SecureWorks, how is that integration, how is that going um, uh, technically and operationally? Uh, that's a great question. So I come from the SecureWorks acquisition into Sophos uh, and I'm uh, basically here uh, proof of how the integration is going. Uh, at a technology level, uh, the uh, integration is going at great guns. Uh, we are about to uh, do a public uh, preview of the capability by the end of this year. Not just that, the services and the, uh, the people, which is one of the most important part of the acquisition, are almost completely integrated across different teams of Sophos. This includes things like uh, threat intelligence, incident response, consulting and advisory services. All of these functions have now been merged into the existing uh, Sophos functions or new functions uh, equivalent to the same have been uh, created. At the platform level, Tejas platform is going to be uh, the underlying core uh, delivery vehicle for the XDR capabilities through the Sophos central mechanism and further advancements into that. So all of that is also going. So hopefully you'll have some great news soon. Sounds great. Uh, we see that UAE has a strong focus on securing critical infrastructure. How are Sophos AI-powered solutions um, supporting that uh, UAE's, uh, UAE's effort to, do, to secure crit critical infrastructure? Uh, absolutely. So first and foremost, uh, when it comes to critical national infrastructure, um, residency of data is uh, paramount. Uh, some of the requirements, both from a compliance standpoint as well as for the national security, data should not leave the country and on, on that regard uh, we have uh, announced the deployment of the Sophos region in UAE uh, by the end of this year. The development effort uh, for the same is going again at, at a great pace and we should be able to stay true, true to that timeline of uh, deploying it by the end of this year. Second is the ability to deploy uh, advisory and consulting solutions that are relevant to the national infrastructure. Things like uh, Power Grids, uh, Diva, for example, and the ability to look at those specific requirements and provide uh, consulting services around that are already in place. Same goes for incident response. Uh, one of the biggest concerns today is that if something bad does happen, how do we, how are we able to manage it? And the ability to do incident response across not just the smallest uh, uh, and the biggest entities, but also government and national infrastructure uh, entities. Uh, gives us that ability to support the region very well. And we come from a long background of doing this, 20 plus years of doing that, uh, just that for uh, across the globe. Uh, so that makes us very much ready for the region. Great. So with this strong bank background being in the uh, cybersecurity domain, uh, with the rise of generative AI, it is accelerating. And uh, um, with the rise of uh, this acceleration, uh, phishing attacks are getting more sophisticated day by day. So how should enterprises react now? Absolutely. So the ability to stay ahead of threats, especially in this age of AI, is paramount. And organizations need to take decisions, uh, not just at a single point or a single piece of technology, but end to end. This not just includes deploying security controls and having them uh, or giving them the ability to identify AI versus you know, human delivered capabilities but also educate the users, uh, educate the, the users who are not specifically technology savvy in order to ensure that they're able to differentiate what is AI generated and what is not. Uh, the other very important aspect is also uh, the when the adoption of AI is in the organization uh, with the speed at which it is being adopted, we are in the phase of what we call shadow AI, where users are using so many AI tools, 
most of them, if not all, may not necessarily be authorized by the organization in question. So some of those guardrails have also to be established. Finally, uh, the utilization of AI in cybersecurity is also important. Uh, it is helpful in building automation and efficiencies into the response times of tech and IT organizations. Uh, and using it correctly will ensure that we respond in time uh, when it comes to cyber threats. Uh, so all in all, it is a team effort where it's not just uh, a shiny new tool that needs to be deployed. Uh, we need to obviously look at uh, it, it in an all-round manner to ensure that it is deployed safely uh, within the parameters that are safe for both users and the organization. Thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Mervish. It was great talking to you. Pleasure. Thank you for watching.